Excuse me. Are you Joe? Who's asking? I'm Jennifer Brennan. I'm looking for a job. How'd you know that? Came to me in a dream. That's pretty good. I'm a dancer. You ever danced like this before? No, but I think I can handle it. You have a nice figure. And if you don't have any problem dancing without your clothes. No, I understand what's expected. And this? No problem. Why don't you give her a chance? Come by tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Bring something nice to wear on and off. Thanks. Why do you give him such a hard time? You know you're short a couple of girls. Anything that comes to easy is rarely appreciated. <laughs> you really are a shit, Joe. Yeah. I know. Hello? I got the job. I start tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Call me. OK, I'll call you. Be careful. OK, I'll be careful. Make sure. <laughs> I know. OK, same place, same time. OK, bye-bye. Before you get to work, you'll be able to dance for hours. They're all natural. Great. Thanks. Hi. Come on in. Just your friendly neighborhood strippers here. Let me guess. You're either dropping off some dry cleaning or you're a new dancer. I'm Jennifer. A friendly new dancer who's stripping for her first time. You could call me Jen. Hi, I'm Sandra. Sandy.
this is Desiree. She's more into health than the Surgeon General. This is Caitlin. She's more into dough than a banker. And that is Cherry, our resident nurse. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the world's largest all-night ATM machine. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, honey. Oh, nice to meet you. What a bunch of trolls. How do you make any money with this crowd? Trolls are guys that don't tip stage dances or pay for a lap dance. But the regulars here make it pay off with those 20 buck lap dances. <laughs> Lappin's made dancing a Fortune 500 industry. Looks like I'm off next. It's your first time stripping. Really? Mm -hmm. Come here, let me give you some advice. If it's really slow out there, stick with a slow song. But if it starts getting, you know, some excitement, fast pace, fast song, you'll make a fortune. Good luck. Thanks. And honey, don't worry. With your looks, you could sit up there and read the Bible and they'd pay. Why me, darling? I bet you makes me feel better sometimes. <laughs> I can relate. How long have you been doing this? About eight years. Well, do you travel a lot to clubs? Mm, I do about two tours a year. <laughs> I've got two daughters at home, so it keeps my traveling down. To be honest with you, this really is my favorite club. You're gonna like it here. Well, Joe, I'm out of this dive. I'll see you later, baby. <sighs> it's your first time. Be generous, boys. Well, I think we can do that. Can we, partner? <laughs> when he said he's dead.
she's good. There's something familiar about her. Nice dance. Didn't expect that from you. Yeah, first times are always tough. Why don't you go backstage and relax? Okay. You were terrific. Thanks. <laughs> I was kind of nervous at first, but I got into it. I yeah, it didn't show at all. Okay. Well, from now on, it's easy. Joe wants you over there for a private lap dance. Have a seat. Three things to remember. Always put your tits right in their face. Then your ass right in their lap. Most importantly, eye contact. They'll come begging for more and always empty their wallets. That's easier if it's someone with muscles and a little bit more hair, so. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, guys. This is your dance. Hi. Hi, I am Paul. I'm Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, you wanted to dance? Yeah, I did. Uh, this is my first lap dance. <laughs> well, good, we're even, because it's mine, too. Great. I don't feel so awkward then. Um, can you? Sure. Answer. Thank you. Please uh, sit down. Uh. So, uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from back east, Boston. I, I'm. I was born and raised here, but but I've been to Boston. I mean, it's a great town. Really? Were you there for business or for business? 
Uh, I, I'm an artist. Oh, wow. What kind of art do you do? I don't know. I guess uh, you'd call it eclectic. I specialize in sketching beautiful faces. Like yours. <laughs> That's interesting. It's hard to believe this is your first time in a club like this. Well, I started dance classes when I was five, and then I waitressed in one of these places for a little while. Been there, done that. You live around here? No, I just moved to town. You know, if you need to know where the best rents are, I know them all. Thanks. I, I just got a place. Look, I'm out of here for the night. See you guys later. See you, girl. Bye-bye. Bye. Listen, girl. You don't just wiggle your butt in here and steal a regular customer of mine. And I better never see you do it again. Calm down. She didn't do it on purpose. Oh, bullshit. She knows exactly what she's doing. Don't get your panties in a wide butt. And you little bitch, you bis better not ever get in my way again. Don't worry about it. She'll get over it. It wasn't your fault. How do you know who someone's regular? To most of us, it doesn't matter. But Kat, she's different. She'll get over it. Don't worry about it. Thanks. So, you here alone, or do you have family? No, no family. Just me. It's my kid. He's three. Oh, he's so adorable. What's his name? Bobby. His father's name was... Well, he was a uh, drunk driver. I'm sorry. He was living with his father, and um, we broke up about a year ago. And after the accident, well, let's just say he's living with me now. Well, it must be nice to have him with you. Right? Yeah, it is. Really nice. Jerry, babe, come on. You're up. It was really nice talking to you. You too. Glass of water, please. Sure. Thanks. You know, you were really great tonight. You're a natural. And that is as rare as a faithful guy. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. Um, thank you. In a week, it'll be as routine as breathing. I hope so. You know, I was in the dressing room just now. I had the strangest feeling that somebody was watching me. I mean, really watching me. Honey, around here, someone is always watching you. <laughs> OK. Now I'm jumpy right now, you know, because of the murder and everything. You know, did you know the girl that got killed well? Yeah. Yeah. She was a, she was a nice kid. She kept to herself. Frankie and her were close. I'm going to put you on the regular schedule. Say, Wednesday through Sunday, unless you have any objection. No, that's great. I really need the money. Well, don't worry. You'll make good money here. And sometimes there's an occasional party where I send a girl or two. Great dough, no hanky-panky. Yeah, that sounds good. Do all of the girls do parties? Only the best. Really? I'm flattered. <laughs> have the girls worked here a long time? Well, a few have, but most come and go. Boyfriends, drugs. 
By the way, you don't... No, no. No boyfriends, no drugs. Good. You'll do fine. Frankie? Yeah? So how was your first night? That yeah, wasn't bad. I mean, mostly everyone seems really nice. Good. Yeah, we get a good crowd. Every once in a while you get a drunk or something, but uh, do me a favor. Anybody ever bothers you or touches you in a way that you don't like, you let me know and make sure they never bother you again, huh? Gabish? Thanks. <laughs> Forget about it. As long as I've been working here, they should know better. How long have you been working here? Oh, for three years now. It's a good gig. We're like a friendly, dysfunctional family, you know? <laughs> yeah, I can tell. <laughs> So what do you do when you're not here? What do I do? I work with my brother. He's a lawyer. You know, car accidents. By the way, if you ever get in one or uh, you wanna, if you know what I mean, you give me a call, I'll make sure you get a quick couple of dollars. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's a piece of cake. I made some of these girls so much money. Oh. Okay, Frankie, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, do. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm gonna get out of here, okay? Okay. okay. Hey, uh... And then, never mind. Go ahead. Get out of here. Good night. Good night.
it's not a good idea to date a customer. They, they see you in a, a certain light. You know? No, no, I know what you mean, but this one's different. Uh-huh, you're different. <laughs> My newest star, I have a dance for you. Oh, yeah. I had a problem with Caitlin the last time I danced with him. I guess he's a regular. Let me take care of Kat. Go. Go, okay, go. Okay. Just back so soon. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Back here. You must like this place. Well, uh, not so much the place as some of the employees. Oh, some? <laughs> Let me see if I could focus your attention a little more. like that because you like me or because I'm a paying customer? Well, that's the game, isn't it? The game? Yeah. If you didn't think I liked you, you wouldn't keep paying me now, would you? Probably not. And if I didn't think I liked you, I couldn't dance like that. Now, could I? Uh, I don't know. It's a fantasy you're paying for. What fantasy? You get to think you can have me, and I get the reality of taking your money. Well, I see you met Paul. Mm-hmm. That's why Callum must be so pissed. He's a pretty big catch around here. Very rich and a pretty well-known artist, too. Kat's been trying to get close to him for a while. Cherry. Seems like you've made the connection she couldn't. Mm. I need a dance. Excuse me, ladies. My Prince Charming has arrived. <laughs> so what about you? Do you have any uh, significant other? Any in our line of work? It's hard to find a regular guy. Well, you seem to be OK now. You know, somehow we seem to grow scabs over all of our hurts and losses. Yeah, we do. Mm. I think I should have got some more beauty sleep. I'm feeling really old. What do you think? Do you think I need a lift? <laughs> oh, 
Ouch. <laughs> a lip? Come on, what are you, 26? Almost. For the third year in a row. I say hey. nothing, I know nothing, no, no, no. A girl's <laughs> real age is privileged information. Right. Cherry, Joe says every now and then there's private dances we could go on outside the club. How's that work? Sometimes they contact Joe. They send a few of us over for a private dance at their place. The money's always good. Like three or four hundred plus tips. You go totally nude, it's five hundred bucks. That's great money. Has there been any of them lately? Why, do you need to borrow some cash or something? I've got some put away. No, 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 I don't need to borrow money. I'm just trying to figure out how these things work, you know? How about the regular customers? Do you see any of them getting the private dances outside the club? Sometimes a bachelor party or something. But why do they want to spend the bigger bucks when they can come in here and get their pants swollen for even cheaper? Yeah. Right. Let's go to shoot over there. Ah. Looks like it's time for luncheon with the lap drillers. Mm. to stay in shape, but I never feel thin enough or pretty enough. Oh, honey, you're in great shape, and you are very, very beautiful. There's something really different about you. I don't know what it is. I'm just trying to pay the bills like everyone else. Well, I didn't mean it in a negative way or anything. It's just, you know, you seem so together, so focused. I'm just driven to accomplish something in my life right now. Yeah, I can relate to that. If I can help you, let me know. Okay. I might take you up on that. <laughs> Jen, you have a phone call. They found another body. She's ID'd as Misty Rain. Jen, don't trust anyone until this is finished. I understand. Okay. How about you? I'm good. So how do you like the place so far? It's okay. Everyone's really nice. It's good. Well, I hope you're including me in that. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Because um, I've got a favor to ask. Oh, a favor? I would like to capture your beauty in a painting. Capture? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I, I know it sounds like a line and everything, okay, but... I just want you to come by the studio and allow me to paint you. Oh, come on. I'm a gentleman. 
Man, I'm a stripper, Paul. Who doesn't even know you? Come on, with everything that's going on, you expect me to go to your house all alone? Well, technically, you wouldn't be alone, because I'd be there with you. <laughs> oh, very cute. But it's against the club's rules to date a customer. Oh, well, this wouldn't be a date. I mean, I'll pay for your services as a model. Oh? How much? I don't know. What's your rate? Come on, I'm <laughs> kidding. Okay, just you, me, and the pain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> here's, here's my phone number and address. Please. Try and make it. can keep you alive. God, have you seen anything out here? No, nothing out here but rats, drunks, and winos. I gotta get a, a different job. How you doing? Uh, just what I told you on the phone. It was the same piece of paper that Misty had. And, uh, then he asked me to pose. I told you finding a killer is always dangerous. What did you tell the police? You know, just what you told me to say, that I saw her once, and that's it. I ran a background check on a few of the club's people. Uh, Joe, the owner, has been arrested three times for assault, once with a stripper and twice by his ex-wife. Frank the doorman, assault with a deadly weapon. And Catlin Clark, <laughs> Jesus. She's got a long rap sheet for drugs and prostitution. Interesting bunch. They should have a talk show. What do you want me to do next? First, are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes. OK, you keep doing your job, and I'll cover my end. <laughs> what are you trying to do, get me to reduce my fees? Of course. <laughs> Turn me around. Oh, Jim, I don't want you to trust anyone. Okay. okay. You look like you need this. <laughs> don't say that. It's a double. <laughs> Double? Double cola. Mm -hmm. Better watch out. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little tired, that's all. Yeah. Well, I guess we're all a little on edge. Yeah. God, it's so horrible about Misty's death. She given me those flowers for good luck. Oh, yeah. Well, try not to think about it, okay? Mm -hmm. They'll get the bastard that did this. Well, I know they will. Ah, uh, I want to go home and sleep for about a month. Oh, me too. How long did they question you for? About a half an hour. It was the same as when it happened with Amy. These cops don't give a damn about strippers being murdered. Yeah. I try to forget there's so many sick bastards out there. And then this. We just got to be extra careful, you know? And really watch out for each other. Yeah, we do. <laughs> How's Bobby? He's great. Typical boy, into everything. It's funny, sometimes I watch him and wonder what he's gonna be like when he's all grown up, you know? It all happens so quick. Yeah. All right. What about you? I mean, I'm always running at the mouth about myself. What are your dreams, your fantasies? <laughs> God, I don't know. Maybe one of those tropical islands, you know, Tahiti, Bali, Hawaii, one of those romance. White sandy beaches and golden sunsets. No leering men and loud music. <laughs> All it takes is money. Money. 
the root of all evil and the source of all pleasure. Let's go make some. No, you go ahead. All right, I'll see ya. Okay. Joe's office, I found out that Paul had both Amy and Misty over for private sessions. And now he wants to give you private sessions. Yeah. Do you think he's the one? He's on the list. Police work is like my wheelchair. Zen. It takes patience waiting for a flower to open. You look tired. Thanks. I am tired. My nerves are on edge. You know? Yeah. Why don't you go home and empty your mind? Let me worry tonight. Okay. Bye. Tomorrow's a new day. You look beautiful. Thank you. Oh, come in. <laughs> Sorry. It's OK. So you made it. Yeah. Oh, come on, let me show you around. OK. I like your house. is beautiful. Thanks. It's really too big for just me. My mother and father uh, moved to Florida a few years ago, and. They didn't want to sell it, so I moved back in. Hmm. I grew up here. Well, 
Here's my studio. I'm impressed. Thanks. Would you like something to drink? Yes, thank you. I hope you enjoy classical music. Yeah. The girls from the club, are you friends with them? I suppose. But you've got to know that I like you more than just a friend. So, Paul. Are you going to paint me like you did them? I don't think so. Do you mind? No. I don't mind. What's going on at the club and everything? I just don't know if it's a good idea that you do. Mm -hmm. I guess that'll teach me to open my mouth. Huh? found out that the cops are thinking about shutting us down. Why? To uh, protect us. As if this net's gonna stop if we close down? God, the cops are so stupid. Well, I guess they're desperate enough to try just about anything at this point. Desperate? They're not desperate. That's a joke. 
Mm, if Joe asks, just tell him I'll be back in a while. I've got some bad news. They found another body. Same M.O. I'm sorry. It was Cherry. <laughs> She's my friend. She had a little boy. He was only three years old. Look, don't worry. It wasn't Paul. You knew I saw him? Had a friend of mine watching him. Are you sure, John? I contacted the criminal psychiatrist. He said this type kills with a trigger mechanism. We find that trigger, we've got the killer. I'm Shane. And what's your pleasure? Something hot, baby. Well, that I'm your girl. Because the hotter it is, the better I like it. Oh, really? You got a limit? Let's just say I'm very, very flexible. Well, how much flexibility does 50 bucks buy me? <laughs> and you think that's going to pay my bills? Wow. A couple more of those. Your customers, now what are you stealing? Oh, Jesus, what are you talking about? Psycho in Joe's office five minutes ago. Caitlin, I thought I left my purse in his office the other day when I was talking to him. <sighs> You're so full of shit. I knew there was something off about you from the start. I'm gonna see to it that you don't fuck with
you doing? Not bad. First time I've been here. Exciting place. Yeah, does pretty well. Pretty women, cheap drinks. Winning combination. <laughs> you want a drink? Did you enjoy the show? Yeah, you really pump up the volume. Yeah, maybe I found my calling. The only problem seems to be catching a cold. Yeah, I wish. The police questioned everyone for hours. How are you feeling? Better. You sure you don't want a drink? No, I never drink in the wheel. I'll see you later. Not much of a crowd tonight. Yeah, that's okay, though. Don't feel like dancing, much less trying to be sexy. Well, you see, now that's one of the good things about being just a bartender. Because all I gotta do is smile and listen. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you've heard it all. Mm, just about. <laughs> Duty calls. Okay. How about a dance? How about conversation instead? It's cheaper. Um, I, I need to talk to you. Okay. I want you to come and stay with me. I wish I could. Jen, I've I've never been so afraid for someone in my life. No, you're right. From now on, I'm gonna make sure of that. I'm looking forward to that. I'll call you later. Say no more. Get out of here. It's dead anyway. Thanks. Okay. Did you find anything out from the files? Mm. Oh, no, nothing. Did Amy ever say who she was dating? No. Why? And the coroner's report came in and she was two and a half months pregnant. said anything to me? Someone at the club knows. Lacey said that she was saying Frankie. <sighs> I think we're getting close to that trigger, Jen. Are you gonna be all right? Yeah. I better get back. Keep it together. forget something I always do. No, no. I had to go check out my daughter. You have a daughter? How come you haven't told us about her? Oh, I don't know. I guess I thought Joe wouldn't hire me if he found out. So I lied. Oh, don't be foolish. He doesn't care. What's her name? Amanda. And where's the father? He split, Caitlin, because I was pregnant. Well, that figures. And the 
Nothing scares a man more than responsibility. <laughs> Do you have a picture of her? Um, not with me, but I'll bring some in to show you guys. Does she look like you? No, she looks like her dad. She has those really, really blue eyes, and oh, she's really precious. Well, I can't wait to meet her, but right now I gotta go do a dance with Des. Amanda, that's a nice name. Uh, did you know that uh, Jenna has a five-year-old? No. I just thought you should know. Never. Thanks. Well, Lacey, come here. Oops, the slave driver calls. Something you or something about um, Jen having a kid. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on now. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody. The night is black, it's like your eyes. You draw me in, but Jen, any other surprises I should know about? Joe, I was afraid you wouldn't hire me. Oh, that's stupid. I think you need to get to know me a little better. Maybe dinner one night when you're off, and I can meet your little girl. Sure. How old is she? She's two. Her name's Amanda. Amanda, it's a pretty name. Lacey, a drink to toast Jen and Amanda. You got it. Look, Jen, if you need to work a little extra, you just come in, OK? I know. Babies need a lot of care. Thank you. I appreciate that. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> well, to Jen and Amanda, health and happiness always. Bottoms up. Just a friend of mine, excuse me. Does Joe date a lot of the girls? Few. How about that girl, um, what's her name, Amy? I think so. Why? No, I was just thinking because I know that she and I look alike. Maybe he likes my type. He likes all types. I don't believe it. A baby girl and you didn't even tell us. You know, we're all gonna have to get together and throw a little party for you and your daughter. I can't wait to meet her. Well, no, 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 you don't have to throw us a party. Nonsense. It'll be fun. And, you know, we could all use a little fun around here. I'll plan it for one afternoon next week. It'll be great. Okay. Okay, great. I'll see you later. <clears throat> here, Joe just gave me this for you. It's a private with his best customer. Oh. It's for tonight. Yeah, Joe knows that you could use the extra money. You probably set it up special. Yeah. Well, that's a nice of him. Do you know this guy? Sure. He doesn't come in here much, but when he does, he tips big. John, look, it's me. I, I got a private dance outside the club. Yeah. Look, I told everyone I had a daughter. Why? Because I think that might be the connection. I think that's a trigger. Look, they all had it, or they were having kids. They were mothers. What are you supposed to do? And when? Um, it's 5248 Langmore, number nine. I gotta be there in one hour. 
You don't move until I call you back, understand? Yeah, I understand. I'll be here. Please? Yeah, you want a drink? No, no. I've got to talk to you. Well, you know I'm a professional listener. Shoot. It's kind of a long story. Do you remember Amy, the dancer? Yeah. Amy's my sister. I came here with a private investigator to find her killer. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. Lacey Joe's the killer. Oh, my God. No, what makes you think that? Because he's the only key to this murder. He was the one that gave them the private dances the night before they were murdered. Joe's the only link to these murders, Lacey. So what are you going to do now? Wait for my friend to call and then go. And trap him? Yeah. You've got courage. Actually, I'm scared to death. I, um, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. I was jealous. <sighs> Stupid. Oh, forget about it. Don't worry. I just hope that we can be friends from now on. Yeah, of course we can. <sighs> of course. So what are you going to Lacey's? What do you mean? Lacey's? This is her address. All right, what's going on here? It's Lacey. What? Get out, Caitlin. What? Get out of here, Caitlin. Get out! Your sister, your mother, is gone. Your mother is gone. I'm working with John. Are you all right, darling? All right, come on. Come on. still in the club, I figured I'd better stay. Lacey's sister lived with her for years. She's been in a coma. And as a form of punishment, uh... Their mother used to suffocate them when they were bad. 
And one day she went too far. Lacey's mother was a stripper. So every time she killed, she was killing her mother. But Lacey seemed so normal. Well, as Lacey, she was normal. But, uh, well, she created a male persona to do the killing for her. That's right. The chemicals we found under the victim's fingernails matched the hand lotion Lacey was using. So we checked into their, her background, and that's when we found out about her sister and her condition. And that was the trigger. Well, what's going to be done with the sister? She'll be put in a home where they can care for victims like her. That so many died because of one mother's abuse. Well, uh, John, I think we ought to leave these two young people alone. Let's take a walk. <laughs> Sorry. Push, you know I could replace you with a motor. You two stay in touch with us. Oh, okay. hold on. This is for you. Thanks, John. Thanks, Harry. Bye-bye, darling. Bye-bye. They're great guys. Yeah, you're pretty great yourself. They really care about you. And I just, um, just wonder. What? If you'll ever do a private dance for me again. 